I think I'm just going to end up painting them like I was uh, saying once in my other videos. Um, that's the back side. Hmm, that wasn't planned well at all. Alright, time for garage update or uh, S10 project update. Let's do an S10 video this time, or at least this little bit. Well, for right now, I just went ahead and I mineral oiled the uh, arch. Mineral oiled, linseed oiled the top red part of the truck where all the clear coat was missing. Uh, so I went ahead and just linseed oiled that. And this time I decided to try and leave it glossy. Last time I did it, I buffed it so it was more of a satin finish. And honestly, I'll probably like the satin finish better. But uh, we linseed oiled it uh, three days ago. Still a little tacky. It's not bad. I can touch it without leaving fingerprints, but it's still got just a little bit of a... grabs you just a hair. Oh yeah, and these... Uh, Triple chrome plate at better quality than everybody else door handles. Uh, completely rust pitted. Just driving from Washington to uh, Tennessee in the rain. All right, so after measuring up exactly what kind of offset I'd be looking for and backspacings and diameters and widths and everything else on the front and the rear of this thing, I decided I don't know what exactly I want or what direction we're going with the truck, so it makes no sense to dump a bunch of money that I really don't have anyway into a set of wheels that may or may not even make the truck look any better. So uh, every, I said, well, how much would it be to just buy some cheap stuff, like the cheapest stuff they sell? And you know what? I don't think these rims are ugly enough to justify the cheapest rims I can get. Because these actually don't look bad when they're cleaned up. I think for now, I'm just going to go ahead and paint these things. All right, so here it is. She is not a beaut. We got them sanded as much as I'm going to sand them and uh, got it all taped off and whatnot and now all I got to do is I'm going to clean it real quick with that alcohol and then uh, once it's all dry and good to go we're going to hit it with some rusty metal primer because I couldn't find any navel jelly or rust converter. All right there it is with a fresh coat of primer. It does not look good. It's full of fish eyes but that's because I forgot to wipe it down with alcohol first. Oops. I got all four of them sanded and cleaned. I just have to uh, alcohol wipe the other three. All right, so here it is the next day, and yeah, it's, uh, you can see where I messed it up really good by not cleaning it properly first. Um, but if it's going to stick and lay on there, I probably won't take it back off, but we'll fix that. But, uh, not today. It's pouring rain, thunder, lightning, the whole nine. They were predicting 70 to 80 mile an hour winds, even though it's dead still right now. So we're done for today. We've got, hmm, put this around here so we can all see. The rims are painted, they're clear coated. That one over there is done too. We got to finish them up. Tomorrow we're going to worry about the silver uh, details on it. So true to idiot form, I forgot to push the record button when I was applying the silver highlights to our rims. Um, I'm really sorry about that. Uh, you would think with four rims to do and the amount of time it took to do it, I'd have figured out at some point I wasn't recording it. I'll show you the video right here of how the wheels came out uh, with the silver, uh, one coat of the silver paint applied. So it's not, I don't know, it's not fantastic. Because it's a metal flakes, metallic silver, it tends to get streaky and it looks like it's all scraped up. So looking at the back wheel here, I thought I'd show you guys how it ended up coming out. So what I did was I went back and I hit it with a second coat and used a way bigger paint marker and uh, it came out much, much better, as you can see. Put the tape on the inside of the lip so the sticky side's out here. And then all I do is just take this and just stick it right to the tape. All 
All right, we got them all taped up. And now all I got to do is uh, get them outside. Hope nothing falls on them out of these trees because the wind's blowing. Hope no bugs land in them. And let's get this clear coat knocked out. All right, let's cover this table. Let's save that. All right, that ought to keep the clear coat off the truck. All right, so I'm just going to throw a couple of light, dusty, rough coats on it just to get it sticky. Hopefully this clear doesn't loosen up that silver. I'll get the next one shaking and ready to go while that dries. So I'm going to be doing about 10 minutes between coats. Um, and then I'm going to do a really wet coat. I'll give it about 20 minutes to come back and do, uh, I guess you could call it a flow coat. It's just another heavy wet coat of clear, and that should finish them up. And just got to let them dry for like 48 hours. All right, so while the clear coat's are drying on those wheels, I'm going to go ahead and address what we need to do before we put them back on. Uh, basically, these center hubs on the front are uh, pretty rusty and janky looking. And same thing on the back where the ends of the axles are showing. Um, I don't have the factory plaque plastic um, center caps to go on these wheels. I only had like two when I got the truck and they were barely hanging on there. Um, I could order another set. They tend to look kind of goofy because they're really large, take up half the wheel. Um, so what I did instead was I got some chrome lug nuts so I can pop these on there and at least have some chrome lug nuts on it. Um, I can't really find a center cap that fits yet. Um, if I can, maybe I'll do something about it. But like I said, I wasn't didn't know if I was going to run these wheels or not, so I didn't want to invest any more money in them, buying center caps and whatnot. So, for now, we're just going to paint these centers black so you don't really notice them. I should have another one of these dust caps in uh, zinc silver. I can pop that on there after I paint this black, and uh, that should have everything looking at least good enough to where people don't really notice it's janky. <laughs> That's the goal, right? Just make it not look janky. should also clean all this out, too, while I got the rims out. So if you've ever seen emery cloth, it's like tape kind of, a, but if you've ever seen this at a uh, yard sale and wonder what you need it for, it's perfect for things like this. Getting under these lug nuts and not putting any flat spots on this thing. Alright, so as you can see here, we got the hubs painted. And I have, like I thought, new dust caps for the front there. All right. There are a couple of last things we got to do before we uh, get these rings back on the truck. One of those things is we got to polish these trim rings up, clean them up, I should say. Uh, so right now, I'm going to get a place to. Uh, Bear with me a second. Can't talk and work at the same time. Alright, so we're going to soak our sandpaper in there. And we're going to get to work on these guys. You can see they've got a few little issues. There's a surface rusty spot there. Which is weird because these are supposed to be stainless. But, uh, there's different grades of stainless. But yeah, they got some marks. There's got a lot of that surface rust. We're going to 400 grit this bad boy as soon as I get this uh, paper soaked. Well, let's see what we can do. This is the worst ring of the bunch, I think. It's got uh, got some damage here. It's got a damage right there next to that chrome spot, and it's got a few dings around the edges as well. Some scrapes and whatnot, some more dings over here. Doesn't look that bad at this point. I might just let that ride in the interest of time. Let's see, here's our rims. They're all dry, they're painted. Uh, I got the trim ring on the one of them, and they do look pretty good, I have to say. And I'm going to say right now, just in case I didn't film it earlier, I'll edit this out if I did, but I cleaned the living daylights out of these tires using Purple Power, I think it is. Yeah, using some Purple Power. Got them nice and squeaky clean, and then I used 
this stuff on them uh, because it claims to be more of a restoration of rubber instead of uh, shiny goofy stuff. Um, shiny's fine, but I wanted to see what it looked like just au naturel and looking brandy new. And I gotta say, I kind of like it. But let's get it on the truck and see how it looks. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's not sticky or greasy at all. So, I'm not sure how I feel about the silver centers, but they're better than the rusty, nasty ones. Um, I could always paint them black. Alright, there it is. Should look a lot better once it's on the ground. Alright, so, ran into an issue. Uh, first one I cranked down on did exactly what I expected, it just did a little worse than I expected. Which is it started chipping all the paint off. Uh, that's that one over there. But I'm going to take it back off now it's tightened on there. I'm just going to live with it. But on the other three, since I haven't tightened them up yet, I'm going to use this guy. I found this in my toolbox. Happens to have about the right angle on it. The case is these do a good job of ripping the paint out of the center area where the lug nut contacts it. So uh, I'm going to do that real quick. Because this angle on this thing is steeper than the angle on the lug nut. Um, it's scraping around the top more than anywhere else, which is what I need. I need to cut the... I need to sever the connection between the inside and the outside of this bevel so that when it does chip the paint in here, it doesn't travel out here. There we go. So that should do the trick. It worked really well on that one, so we're going to do it to all of them.
right, so it's on the ground. It looks a million times better. I'm pretty happy the way it came out. It's got its issues, of course, you know. Um, got a little chipping on around the lug nuts on one of the wheels. The wheel I didn't clean properly, of course. The paint's not going to stick to it very well. So um, not a big shock there. But this should get us through the summer in a respectable fashion. And then uh, maybe by fall or, you know, the end of the season, so to speak, we'll uh, know where we're going next with this thing or we'll have the next project up and running. Um, on the side, I am very much looking to the forward to finding my next project. Uh, that 91 Nissan hard body that I had was going to be the next big project that I built. And I was really looking forward to building it. Um, I love Nissan hard bodies. I'm not just a Nissan hard body guy. Clearly, I like everything. But um, I have plans for that truck, and I would still like to do those plans and follow through on them. So we'll see if that happens. And uh, I'm not going to specifically look for a hard body. I really only need the shell. So if I can find one, I'm not trying to pay big bucks for one. So if I can find one with no engine, no trans, I don't even need the frame, really. I just need the bed and the uh, cab. Uh, I can do, I can get the rest of it aftermarket, and uh, it's going to be pretty custom. So there you go. And also, after abandoning the last Dodge van shop truck project, I had another idea for a van project I'd like to do that's, I don't think anyone else has done, really. And I would really like to do it. So we'll see. Um, let me shout out another YouTube channel, actually. If you guys haven't checked out Rat Rod Bob Builds, um, do yourself a favor. If you're into metalworking at all or it, into the art of styling as opposed to you know engineering necessarily, but you get some of that too, um, Rat Rod Bob does a great job of taking a rusty, worthless, someone would throw it away or leave it in their yard for art car and cutting it up and turning it into something that looks pretty, pretty cool. So... That's a channel worth checking out, and he's been inspiring me, which is where some of my new ideas for the next projects are coming from. So I'm going to keep my ear to the ground, see what I can find out here. Uh, i got to find something really, really cheap so I can justify cutting it up, and hopefully it's in really bad shape so I don't feel bad about it. <laughs> and then uh, we're just going to keep plowing away on this little S10 in the meantime. Um, I do love this little truck, but uh, it's definitely not the project I wish to be building uh, in a big, big fashion. So uh, I look forward to seeing you guys next time. I really appreciate you tuning in, and um, we will see you next time. Take care of yourselves.